we have about 40, um, more to come. Liberty Boys of 76 from Frank Towsey. Um, they're in su uh, sequential order. Uh, this one starts in 1908, it's number 408. All of them had, at one point, were in their own individual folder, so there are little uh, staple marks into them. But they are all mostly in good shape. There's a couple of them that aren't. This one has some staining along the top there. Small tear up there. Pages of cream to tan. That was number 409. This is number 410. Very, very, very good condition. It does have some reinforcement tape right on the spine, white to match the the color of the edges. This is 410. Pages of white to cream. 411. Got some chipping along the side there. Got some age spotting here on the back. There's a slight stain in throughout the whole book. I'm going to have to go with water though. I just smell nuts there or anything. 412. Has some age spotting along the edge. In that very good condition. Sag Harbor, New York. Pages of cream to tan. 416. Discoloration all along the edges. 416. Tear in one of the pages. These are going to be listed on our website as well as our eBay site. We're going to list them on eBay as a one and done for auctions. Uh, after they're done for the auction, what we will end up doing is moving them to our website permanently. It gives us a chance to let you bid on them, then we'll set a value on it and put it right on the website. This is number 418. Uh, the website is www.dimenovelhunter.com. It's the same as eBay, which is just down that long term. 1909, January 1st. So we've moved 1909 on these. Pages of white to cream. 419, Wyoming Valley. Got a split down here. I've always liked the Boys of 76. The colors on the front covers are always really vibrant. Some foxing on the pages. 421. I believe this collection runs all the way up to the mid to early 9, nine numbers, 900 numbers. Got a pencil mark across the top, a dealer's mark right hand corner. Got some dust staining on the front. Let's see if it's missing the back cover or just a cover. It's missing the back cover. So this was in a cover and another cover on the back cover to cover it. 422. Split there on the spine, up here, a crack. Some age spotting. Pages are cream to tan. 423. Overall, very good condition. It does have a small age spot there. Pages are white to cream. 
some discoloration along the bottom, along the top as well. Well, the book's over 115 years old. I think total on 114, right? No. 1909. Well, get your mass together. 114, yeah? Five, I'm sorry, 425. Discoloration along the edges. Where's the 76 after Delaney? I go on on a limb and say I was the general in the Revolutionary War. 426. Pencil mark across the top. Page has got a took the coupon out of the back. Page is a green to tan. Four twenty-nine. Discoloration in a square mark there. It could have been an old piece of tape that just the film came off, but not bad. Got a crack there. Got an age spot in the middle there. 436. A little bit of age spotting along the edge. Actually, that's dust spotting. Pages of cream to tan. 437. Got some staining up here on the end. Piece of tape along the edges. Looks like some reinforcement in the back. Yep. Missing the back cover. Four thirty-eight. Discoloration right hand corner. I'm oh, sorry, left and right hand corner. A little bit along the edge up here. Pages of tan. Four forty. Got a tear on the uh, spine. Dealer stamp. Dealer's price. Three cents. That tells you how old that is. I doubt that Mr. Herman's still open. I have seen his tag before, though. 442. Some darkening from age. Pages of tan. 443. Very light darkening on the pages on the right. Pages of cream. Four forty-seven. There's a good uh, indication of what I saw with the colors. This book is a hundred and fourteen years old, almost no, twenty-three hundred and thirteen years old. I don't know I was wrong the first time. Um, 113 years old, and the colors are just really vibrant. The red sticks out, the blue is just right there. Distinction is good. 4.43. Pages of cream. Fold over up there, and some discoloration on the back spine. 4.53. Got some discoloration along the edges. Exciting times in old New York. Got a piece missing down here. Pages are surprisingly clean. Uh, 
463. Discoloration along the edges. On the back as well. Pages are tan. <coughs> ah, General Washington. 465. Use your torches, said Washington, as the enemy came on. Four seventy two. Slight tear down there. M. M. Motorcycle. Nineteen oh nine. That would have been quite the motorcycle, more like a bike. 478. Very nice condition. Pages of 10. 482. Some minor age spotting up there. Ages of cream. Four eighty three. Got some spine wear. The spine may even be split. Hung on just by a hair down there. Got a dealer stamp just off to the right. Pages of cream to tan. 484. Got some stress on the spine. Pages have some foxing. Pages of cream to tan. 485. Got some discoloration on the spine as well as some small tears. Pages are tanned. 487. Stony Point. Some staining on the back. Staying along the edges in the front. Four eighty eight. Pencil mark up here. Stress along the spine as well as some chips. Pages are surprisingly clean. 489. Got some discoloration along the edge here and a small down there. Fort Washington. Pages are white. Small piece missing up here. Tan. Four ninety-two. Got some discoloration up here along the edges, down to the bottom. Same on the back. 
pages of cream. 493. Some tape on the spine. Got a signature up here at the top. Got some desk discoloration down here on the bottom. Dealer stamp on the back. Don't think I've seen that one before. Pages of cream. Different one on the back is in the inside cover. 415. I'm sorry, 515. We're into 19, 1910. We've been in 1910 since sometime in the 50s. Sorry about that. Good condition. Some slight dust down there and along the top. Pages of cream to a tan. 517. Got some maybe split. Yeah. The spine is completely split. Pagers of cream. 518. Pages of cream. Five twenty one, finding the swamp fox. North Carolina, I believe, maybe south. Age spotting in the back, small piece of tape on the staples. Spine isn't split. I'm chipping along the edge of the spine, tear there, stain up there, pages of tan. 532. Okay. Couple of stain spots down here, dealer stamp on the front. Back page is going to be missing, it looks like. Yep. Pages are tan, and there was a tear there. 533. Old tape along the spine. Some discoloration down here. We're in a 1911 now. 546. Tape along here. Some chipping. Piece missing in the back. Pages of cream. 558. Slight discoloration down at the bottom here. Pages are white to cream. 555. Some chipping along the edges there as well as some tears. Darkening of the edges. Back page is smudged. Pages are cream to tan. I do have some chipping down at the bottom. And lastly, 565. Slight discoloration down at the bottom. Pages of cream. 
I said this will be on our website as well as our eBay site, Dime Novel Hunter. So if you throw a www in front and a dot com on the end of Dime Novel Hunter, Hunter and you will uh, get to the website. And the eBay site is simply Dime Novel Hunter. Have a good day.